welcome to LJP channel. So recently on Indiegogo, there has been finally a funding project for a robot called Misa. So I'm very, I was very excited about it. And I just want to share my thoughts on this product, um, whether I should fund it or not, whether you should fund it or not. So here it goes with the first video clip of Misa, the next generation social uh, family robot. So here it goes. You have a busy family. And sometimes you probably wish you had a companion to help right. keep you organized. Okay. Entertain your kids and help them learn. Help you watch over your home and more. Yeah. Okay. That's what Jibo had already as now, a robot. All oh, right. So it has wheels. And its okay. Name is Misa. Misa. Right. How are you feeling today? Uh, no, so it's not Google or Alexa AI. No. Hello, Misa. Set reminder for 7 p.m. meeting. Misa can be your personal assistant and a playmate. Victor could do that. Hey, Misa, let's dance. Right. So, so only the wheels actually move around. Misa can see, hear, talk. And navigate its way oh, around your home. Okay, so Vector could do that. Any it robot could do that, I think. House. And video call when you're gone. Okay, Jibo can do that as well. So this, there's nothing new here, really. Um, That's a nice cast. Okay. And can even be your photographer. Right, so let's. Yeah, that Jibo can take photo and news and weather and look up information for you online. It's, it's nothing new there, nothing new. Okay. Right. So um, let's look at the other video. There's a, apparently another video clip of I think there's a showing the staff and okay. So here it goes. Ah, it must be the CEO maybe. Right, I gotta stop you there, right? Okay, so the CEO chat, he had a voiceover and he was looking at the script, which is perfectly fine, but there's a bit of a sense of insecurity there. I'm sure he's a serious guy, serious businessman, but why would you have a voiceover? Was it, was it the recording bad? But suddenly I'm losing trust on this one, really. I mean, okay, let's look at the rest of the video. After spending 19 years in tech industry, 19 years, impressive. A well-known computer brand in over 50 countries with 50 countries. Wow, that's very good actually. So he's very experienced. To build the world's most advanced social robot, okay. Misa. Misa, please introduce yourself. Sure, my name is Misa, next generation family robot. I'm not really sure whether that's a genuine um, computer gen, like whether it's a computer generated um, clip that has been pasted into the robot face or whether it's like, it doesn't look like it, it's too sharp. I'm not trying to investigate things here, but you know. Okay, so they got decent stuff and screen touch. Right, okay, so I just, I gotta stop you there. So I can see that comparing to the actual size of it, there's very little components going inside there. Um, I know that robotics can be very complicated, but um, I can see why. There's a lot of things going on. So the main focus is the data, um, and all the things are focused in the head, the screen, touchable screen. screen. Um, it comes with the blue and the pink sort of uh, feature, so it's, it, it's more like a toy. Um, I have to be very frank, but it reminds me, the design of it, it looks like the Fisher-Price, um, the Bright Beats, is it Dancing Robot? And a mixture of Jibo with the wheels on. That's what it is. So we already seen all this technology that has been available for Jibo. Jibo was, was very impressive to start with, but they gone down, unfortunately. Um, and 
it has wheels so it can move around which is one of the things that we haven't seen yet but it has the AI intelligence based on their own teeth that they have to keep update. Now, this is the most important thing about robotics, I believe, where it, there's this ongoing maintenance issue with the data, updating, weather, and so on. I don't know how much dough or money is involved for integrating with Google AI. I don't think Google has ever allowed other than their own devices or Android unless you downloaded their app. Alexa has been quite open about it, but I, get, I would assume there's hefty price to pay to be integrated with Alexa or uh, Google AI. But this robot has its own team. We already seen that happening with Anki and we saw that Anki went bust and so on. I don't know the main cause of it, but I think there was development sort of um, funding issues and so on. So there's the robotics. When it comes to robotics, there's a lot of risks involved. Um, I mean, I'm really happy for the fact that on Indiegogo, they have reached their goal within a very short period of time. I'm not really convinced about the CEO's uh, voiceover. I, I would assume it was the bad recording sound they wanted to voice over. He was reading the script. Um, they got promising team, which is great. But for 700 US dollars, selling it for the half price of 350 US dollars, I think it's a very good price as well. So I think that's one of the biggest reasons they reached the goal. But long going relationship and maintenance is one of the biggest concerns I have. So I'm sort of 50-50 on this, whether I should actually fund this project or not. I'm not too convinced about it and I have to actually be very frank. I mean, the arms and the feet, though I can see that the feet itself is contributing for the weight balance because the screen must be quite heavy because it has a big head. But I don't see any point of having the arms. Why can't you simplify it so that you could save a bit of money on that side? Uh, the head doesn't move at all, it's fixed. So it's pretty much a fixed, very simplified, plasticky, children uh, friendly, toy ish kind of robot that has a lot of functions. But the AI is in house AI. So, based on my experience, I'm not completely sold, to be honest with you. And I wish them all the best. Um, but it's a risky investment for me, to be honest with you, I think. But anyway, what you guys think? Let me know what your thoughts are in regards to this Misa, the next generation social family robot. Do you think you'll outcast the um, vector? I highly doubt it, but we shall see. So anyway, so thank you very much for watching this video. This is LGB Tech. Hope this sort of helps you to understand my thoughts on it and maybe help you to just make your own decision as well. Cheers. Bye-bye.